You know what, I kind of expected that because it has been a little busy on the freeway the last couple of days. So, I'm doing the best I can here in terms of the traffic. It's going to clear up here in a few minutes. Take a look at these clouds up here. Very pretty. Anyways, I'm going to be driving for a little bit while I'm heading up there. And I'm going to talk to you guys about some things. It looks like my... My camera's a little dark, I apologize, but I'll try to fix that in, in a few minutes here, later on down the road. But yeah, we're headed to the Berry Farm for some fun. That's about at Walt Disney Studios right now, along with ABC in the animation building. As I mentioned in my previous vlogs, well, from the Disneyland video series, <laughs> uh, this is where Walt Disney filmed a lot of his major motion pictures including one of my personal favorites, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And what's even more interesting is that when Walt Disney was trying to come up with ideas for Disneyland, he, of course, went to Knott's Berry Farm and checked out their ghost town area to get inspirations for Frontierland. And, of course, the trains and his fascination of trains, like the Disneyland Railroad, Casey Jr., Casey Jones, the great locomotive chase. Yeah. A lot of inspirations came from all over Southern California, including his fascination of trains and really other amusement parks, like Griffith Park, for example. He got ideas right here. He even got ideas from Travel Town. We're passing by Travel Town, the train museum right now. Definitely hitting a lot of traffic today. Today's a Friday after all, and Knott's Berry Park today opens up at, at 10 o'clock today. It's been really interesting because Lately, Knott's Berry Farm has been opening at like 11. And I'm trying to figure out why. I think it's all because of the chaperone policy, but still, 11 o'clock, that's, that's really late. And there it is, the Citadel. A picture of the car they have on there, this advertisement, looks like the Fort Anglia from Harry Potter, doesn't it? Kind of looks like it. One of these days, one of these days, we'll check out the Citadel. I keep saying that. Been saying that for like, what, 11 years now? <laughs> one of these days, we'll check out the Citadel. It is a shopping center, by the way, but I've always been fascinated by its structural design because it looks like an Aztec building, basically. So yeah, one of these days, we will check out the Citadel. It will happen this year, hopefully. So you're probably all wondering, what exactly am I gonna be doing today? Well, guess what? We're going to the Boysenberry Festival, yay! It'll be my very first time going. I've had friends go there. I think a couple of family members went there one time and I saw all the festivities. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make it an effort this year to go to the Boysenberry Festival and guess what? We're doing that today, and I'm really excited. I, did, I try not to watch any like spoilers or anything. I kind of got a glimpse of a couple of videos of some of the decorations, and it looks amazing as always. Knott's Berry Farm really goes all out with their decorations, so yeah, I'm really excited to see it in person and document it for you guys. By the way, there is a poster right there for Disneyland. We're heading in that same direction of Disneyland, but not today, unfortunately. That'll be for another trip. I'm thinking of going maybe next month or in early May because they've got two festivals going on during that time period. They've got the Season of the Force and Pixar Fest. So I'm really excited for those and I'll be sure to document those if I ever get a chance to head out there in May. But right now, we are heading to Knott's Berry Farm for the Boys of Berry Festival. There it is, I see Supreme Scream from the freeway. I just caught a glimpse of it. Beach Boulevard, that's where we're gonna be heading right now. Cause this is the exit that my folks normally got off. 
in order to get to Knott's Berry Farm. There is a sign that says, not Avenue, but that's not it. Look, Knott's Berry Farm next exit. And look, it's lined with boysenberries. You don't see this along the Disneyland route, all these boysenberries. Now, I don't know exactly all that's gonna happen at the Boysenberry Festival, but I will say that a lot of the items and foods will be, will be like, it will have traces or fully engulfed in boysenberry, whether it's a jam or like drizzle and something. But yeah, it's boysenberry related somehow, which is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a very interesting taste day. I know they also have like different like alcohols, beverages and stuff like that. I'm gonna stay away from the alcohol because A, I'm the only one driving and B, I can't drink alcohol. I can't do it. My body can't process it very well. So yeah, uh, that's a no-no on my part. I know there's also like a boysenberry wine or something. Again, alcoholic beverages are off the table today. Well, we got some competition here. Look at this, a KFC. Not too far from the Mrs. Knott's Chicken Dinner Restaurant. Huge competition right there. In my own personal opinion, Mrs. Knott's Chicken Dinner Restaurant crushes KFC. But if I had to like rank it from like top three, Mrs. Knott's number one, KFC number two, number three, Hmm, I wanna see the grocery store because I really don't get that much fried chicken anywhere else. Where else have I had fried chicken? I can't remember exactly where I've had, else I've had like fried chicken. Oh, Disneyland, okay, I'll put Disneyland there. Okay, so Knott's Berry Farm, then Disneyland, and then KFC, there we go. Because they have the, the fried chicken there at the Plaza Inn, which was exceptionally good. But Mrs. Knott's crushes the entire competition. Before I head to Knott's Berry Farm though, I'm gonna head over into this Target over here because I wanna check out something very quickly, plus I wanna get a coffee. And look at this, they got a GameStop over here. Very cool. I'm hoping it's open because that would be nice to be able to check out a GameStop. A lot of the other GameStops around my area have closed down, but that's cool. I might check out both of those before I head to Knott's. Okay, well, one of two shops done. Uh, <laughs> The GameStop over here opens at 11 today. Most of the time they're open at noon. So I might come back later on and hit this place before I leave. But yeah, I went to Target though and I did get myself a coffee and I just wanted to see what kind of action figures they had. Kind of skimpy on the uh, WWE figures. I mean, they had hardly any of them, unfortunately. Star Wars, eh. Marvel was kind of bare, but I did find something from the DC section. I collect these from the McFarlane toys as you all know I have my own comic corner series on this channel and I'm trying to bring that back very soon because I've been collecting a lot of figures over the last few years and right now I'm working on a video for Daredevil at this point but uh, I collect also a bunch of DC characters McFarlane's mostly DC but I've also collected like Marvel Legends and all but this is McFarlane and look at this it's a two-for-one deal yeah this is the Batman Beyond versus Justice Lord Superman. Now, here's the thing. I've gone to so many different targets and I've never seen this one. This is the first time I've seen this ever. This is actually kind of a cool find for me because I like looking for stuff that's new and different. So yeah, I found this over here at the Target that's right across from Knott's Berry Farm. Well, actually not across, it's literally like on the other side of this freeway. In fact, remember I mentioned earlier that I could see Supreme Scream? As you can see, there's Target right there. There's the freeway. And then look straight ahead, right in front of me, right there. That's Supreme Scream, right there. I'm looking directly at it. That is Knott's Berry Farm, just on the other side of this freeway, right there. And that is where we're heading. But yeah, I've been collecting a lot of the McFarlane figures for several years now as well as Marvel Legends. I probably have over 200 different figures of Marvel and DC combined. I also have one of Marvel Legends' largest figures to date, and that, of course, is Galactus. If you guys haven't seen Galactus, the video that I worked on and got to be a part of, go and check out that video because, yeah, that was kind of fun to uh, be able to bring home the largest action figure. And as you all know, again, I collect these guys. I'm also getting Giant Man. They came out with a giant man figure that's gonna be just as big as Galactus. And I want to do a photo where both him and Galactus are going at it. So 
that's gonna be pretty exciting i'm expecting it by later this fall probably during hhn this year at some point i have to do a whole like photo collage of all the different figures and characters because literally all the characters and from like both dc and marvel that i have currently it's like a whole encyclopedia there are even figures and characters that i don't necessarily know but i have them because they're a part of a collection so <laughs> oh my gosh anyways be sure to find out more on all the figures and like stories and all that we'll be dealing with uh, in future episodes of the Comic Corner coming out later this year, which is pretty exciting. All right, let's head to Knott's Berry Farm now. Here we go. You know, I mentioned about KFC being a competition for, for Mrs. Knott's Chicken in a Restaurant. Look at this. We got a Black Angus right here. I haven't seen one of these in ages. There's be one down the street from my house. They had some pretty good steak. I don't know if this one still is open or not, but it doesn't look open, but I haven't seen that in a long time. Wow. There's the Pirates Dinner Theater right there. I have yet to see that. They also had Medieval Times over here at one point, didn't they? I think so. Oh, there's a Starbucks right there and an Outback Steakhouse. Oh, here's Medieval Times. This is it. Yeah, right there. So close to each other. Question is, are they going to put back the sign up here that said Knott's Berry Farm? Nope. So last time when I came down here, they had removed the Knott's Berry Farm logo that was right up here where the miner and the mule is, right up here. But as you can see, it's all just wood planks, which is pretty bland, to be honest with you. Maybe it was graffitied. Which if it was, that'd be kind of sad. But the old uh, Knott's Berry Farm logo that I used in my intro, that used to be right over here, right at this corner. La Palma and Beach. That's where it was. So, <clears throat> just on the other side of that wall there, that is Camp Snoopy. And just ahead of us is Ghost Rider, which recently reopened. And I think right there, I think that's the tip of Montezuma's Revenge, which I believe, yeah, it's actually, and I believe that this right here, that little tip right there, that is Montezuma's Revenge, which we got an announcement for that not too long ago, saying that they are still planning refurbing it and opening it next year. That's pretty exciting. I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did last time, which is I'm gonna park next to Independence Hall because that actually was really convenient for me because I liked Independence Hall. Plus, I'm hoping that today, Independence Hall is open because last time I was here, it was closed. Let's check out the uh, lines. Oh, it looks a little busy today. I was kind of expecting that because of the Boysbury Festival. Ghost Rider, the roller coaster right there. It's interesting how it just overlaps onto the other side of the, the road there. There's Independence Hall right there. A brick by brick replication of the famous building. Well, you guys, we are here at Knott's Berry Farm. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to the Boys of Berry Festival. Hope you guys are ready to go to check it out with me. And we'll probably go on a few rides here and there. I know that the Timber Mountain Log Ride is still closed. However, I do know that the train ride has reopened. So I'm looking forward to that. Plus, I'm looking forward to seeing all the different changes that are happening right now in Camp Snoopy. And I noticed that they still have the Red Baron attraction there, which is pretty cool because that's a old classic favorite of mine. You can't get rid of that because that's, again, a classic. <laughs> well, guys, that's going to do it for this vlog, this little road trip. A little shorter than the other ones that I've done in the past. Well, this is for my Disneyland video series, I mean, because I've done a lot of road trip videos from my home to Disneyland. But I'm going to try to do this the same thing with the Knott's Berry Farm series. Thank you so much for watching and seeing, as they say in Hollywood, I'm not in Hollywood. I'm actually at Knott's Berry Farm. That, my friends, is a wrap. See you next time. Oh, and don't forget to check out the Comic Corner coming back really soon to the Vlog Series YouTube channel. If you want to find out more information about that, check out my Instagram page. Link is in the description down below. See you all next time.